ratio and proportion ratio is nothing but comparison of two quantities of similar kind with the help of division as a fraction 2 by 3 as a division 2 divide by 3 with the ratio sign 2 ratio 3 thus 2 by 3 is equal to 2 divide by 3 is equal to 2 ratio 3 find the ration of 3 weeks to 3 days 1 week is equal to 7 days so 3 weeks is equal to 3 multiply 7 days is equal to 21 days ratio of 3 weeks to 3 days is equal ration of 21 days to 3 days is equal to 21 ratio 3 is equal to 21 by 3 is equal to 21 divide by 3 by 3 divide by 3 is equal to 7 by 1 is equal to 7 divide by 1. In a proportion, the product of extremes equal the product of the means. If A by B is equal to C by D, then AD is equal to BC. If AD is equal to BC, then A by B is equal to C by D. Thus, if A ratio B proportion C ratio D means extreme. Product of extremes is equal to product of means. Unitary method is the method of finding first the value of one quantity from the value of the given number of items and then the value of the required number of items from many to one unit we always divide value of unit is equal to value of given number by number of items unitary method is the method of Finding first the value of one quantity from the value of the given number of items and then the value of the required number of items. From one unit to many, we always multiply value of requited number of items, value of unit multiply required number of items percentage is another way of comparing quantities percentages are numerators of fractions with denominator 100 75 by 100 is equal to 75 percent where Percent is equal 1 by 100. Express as a percent 3 by 5. 3 by 5 multiply 100 by 100 is equal to 60 by 100 is equal to 60%. Percent 1. To convert a fraction or a decimal to a percentage, 
we multiply by 100. Second, to convert a percentage to a fraction or a decimal, we divide by 100. Increase or decrease percent. Increase percent is equal to increase by original value multiply 100%. Decrease percent is equal to decrease by original value multiply 100%. Original value is equal to increase by increase percent multiply 100% Original value Decrease by Decrease percent Multiply 100% Increase is equal to Increase percent of Original value Decrease is equal to Decrease percent of Original value Loss and Profit SP Selling Price CP Cost Price Profit is equal to Selling Price minus Cost Price Loss is equal to Cost Price minus Selling Price Profit Percentage is equal to Profit by Cost price multiply 100%. Loss percentage is equal to loss by cost price multiply 100%. Tax is the money collected by the government from the citizens of the sales tax or value added is the tax collected by the government on the sale of different commodities this is always on the selling price of an article and is added to the value of the bill tax to be paid is equal to tax percent by 100 multiply Cost price percent Bill amount is equal to cost price plus sales tax when cost price is given inclusive of tax or weight. Original price is equal to 100 by 100 plus tax percent multiply cost price percent. Simple interest The money borrowed or taken as loan is known as the principal P The money is borrowed for a certain defined time period T after which the loan is to be returned After the end of a specified time period, the borrower has to return an additional amount SI over the principal. The total money repaid is the amount A. Simple interest. Simple interest is equal to principal multiply rate multiply time by 100. Principal is equal to simple interest multiply 100 by rate multiply time. 
रेट इज इक्वल टू सिंपल इंटरेस्ट मल्टीप्लाय हंड्रेड बाय प्रिंसिपल मल्टीप्लाय टाइम टाइम इज इक्वल टू सिंपल इंटरेस्ट मल्टीप्लाय हंड्रेड बाय प्रिंसिपल मल्टीप्लाय रेट अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल प्लस सिंपल इंटरेस्ट और अमाउंट इज इक्वल टू प्रिंसिपल प्लस इंटरेस्ट